Hmm. What? No. I don't want to play with you. Leave me alone. Okay. Let me rephrase. I don't want to play. Period. Because. Go away. What did you say? Fuck off, loser. I'm not broody since they've left. I do not miss them. Whatever. It's none of your business. Did you just smile? You'd better watch out. I said no. So what if I don't want to play with you anymore? If I don't care about the new people coming here, I still can do whatever the fuck I want to, right? Maybe. Or are you saying you are telling me what I'm supposed to do? How I'm supposed to act? To think? That's what I thought. Now... Leave me alone. <laughs> Worried? Really? Do you hear yourself? What's wrong with you? We are not friends. I have the sudden urge to punch you in the face so badly right now. Hmm. Except I can't, officer, and I didn't. The warden? Why? Speak to me about what? <laughs> Fine. Calm down. I'm going with you. We were done anyway. What's up? What do you want to see me for? Nothing happened, Chief. They were being annoying, but nothing serious. <clears throat> I am being careful. I haven't picked any fights for so long, and it's kind of boring, you know. I bet you're starting to get bored, too. <laughs> What? Don't tell me you don't like kicking our asses from time to time. It's been a while since anything serious actually happened. <laughs> nah, don't worry. I won't start anything. I can't. I need to get out as soon as possible. You know why. You know everything that happened here. You know, you know how close I was from. Yeah. Oh, shut up. I am not getting soft. So what? Isn't that a good thing for you? Don't you want bad guys to become good? No, that's not what I'm saying. I don't know. Right? I don't feel like I've changed too much. Like switching sides and becoming good. <laughs> I still very much enjoy having my fun. But when I was with them, I don't know. Life didn't feel so boring. So I did less stupid shit, if that makes sense. If you say so. I just can't wait to be out of here now. 
after doing whatever I could to stay here as long as possible. Yes. Yes, we will. We're going to meet each other where they caught me before sending me here. We planned it out before they got out because this prison doesn't allow basic phone calls. It's not romantic. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? I've always talked to you the way I please. <laughs> you. You wouldn't. Come on. You've seen how much effort I've been putting into this. You can't throw it all away because of how I talk. You like torturing me. True. I guess you like torturing everyone here. You really want to know what we have planned? Why? Is it your job or personal? Because so far, I've seen nothing done to ease our transitions back into real life. Like, there are people here who don't even know what cell phones are. <sighs> Alright. So, after we're back together, I'll guide us to a place I know. I think they'll like it. We've already talked about it. That way, we'll have a place kind of far from our old lives, which is what I wanted since the people who put them in here are still out there and still angry with them. I can't promise you that, Chief. I will always try to protect them as much as I can. And going after these people is a way to do that. It's the only threat to them out there, and I don't really trust their hero friends to protect them, although I really hope they have so far. I guess. If it works. So yeah, living there with new identities, unknown by anyone. If that works, I won't go after them. But be honest, do you really think they'll stop at that? They'll never stop chasing us until they're dead. You know those people better than I do. I can't tell you what I'll do to them. You won't be able to let me out if I do. I know you're a good person. If you're in this position, justice is important to you. Do you find it fair that they were sent here? Do you think they deserve to be hunted the second they set a foot outside of here? Yeah, I know you can't answer me either. Either way, there are hero agencies everywhere, so maybe we can ask them for protection. But I doubt it will be of any use, and if my little puppy wants to go back to that, I think it's possible. Although they told me they wouldn't. After so much time together and living with the bad guys... I think they really reconsider their position in the system. But I know it's in their blood. I kind of fear finding them already in a new agency when I get out. Not that I'll be surprising. Me? <laughs> you really see me being a hero? Seriously? Come on. That's not for me. Maybe I'll help them, because I... Never mind. If they want me to, I'd do it. But not as a hero. I'd never be one. I can help people, and I will. But not as a hero, as a civilian. It's not that hard to understand. I'm... I don't want that. I don't want people to see me like that. Not after everything I've done. Because. Because it's not fair. I, I mean for the people I've hurt so far. I've done some bad shit. You know it. 
Never killed anyone, but still. I wouldn't be here otherwise. Just think of the people I've wronged. Imagine them seeing me as a hero. It's not fair to them. They don't have to see the one who hurt them help others. The one they consider to be a villain from their nightmares, seen as a savior. That's... Maybe it is. I'm just a person, you know. Like you. Like anyone. I have feelings. I'm... I'm not a monster. They made me realize it, you know. For the time they were with me, they made me believe I was not just a monster. That I could do good things too. That I could care about someone else. That I could... Whatever. <clears throat> I'm not blushing. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Laugh at me all you want. But they really changed me. You've seen it yourself. I'm not the same that I was before. I think I'm... I think I'm better. Don't you think? Why are you so serious? Hope is dangerous, Chief. And you shouldn't put any in me. Are we done? Can I go back to my cell? Huh. <laughs>